Hello Beach Bums, welcome back to the channel. The door's a little squeaky. I'm headed out today, don't really know exactly what I'm doing, what I'm going for. Gonna hit a few different spots and just uh, see what we can catch. I just wanna go fishing today, just wanna catch fish, see what we can get into. So I don't really have much of a plan. Most of the time I do have a plan, but today, not so much. Starting out with the Rapala flat wrap. See if we can find some fish with it this morning. Are you <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you gotta go, that's a good way to go, man. <laughs> There's one. Got him. Right there. Oh yeah. On the flat wrap. First fish of the day. I've had to work really hard <laughs> for this fish. There we go. Just tucked away in this little corner. I felt him hit it once and then come back for it. Pretty little bass. Thank you, buddy. We'll get you back. See ya. Thanks for the bite. Got the skunk out of the way. Someone's chasing bait over here. Oh, dang. Got a hit. See if there's any more bass. I don't know if that one, will hit, that one will hit again or not. Let's see if there's any more bass in this school of bait here. Got him, got him. Oh, he hit it so subtle, <laughs> little guy. Wonder if there's any more in there. Teeny tiny, but still fun. It's cool, they're just hanging out with this bait right here. Thanks, bud. All right, let's see. Let's see if we got any more in here. I changed over from the flat wrap to Miradine XL. Not my choice. Some grass decided it needed that lure more than me. Well, there goes that lure. There was literally an alligator that had was hanging out right where the lure got stuck. So <laughs> it stayed there or else I would have gone after it. You gotta watch out for the otters though. They'll get you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're mean. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Right there, first cast. Off the pier. Hey, were you yeah, that's right. Here we go. Come here, buddy. So crazy how they just hang out out there in the middle. Come here, come here. Oh yeah, a little bass. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Nice. nice little fish. Yeah. Well, we're gonna let him go, but pretty bass. All right, nice little bass on the Miradine XL. We'll get him back. Pretty little fella. See ya. <laughs> that's right. See ya, there's bass here. <laughs> and otters, that's right. Yeah, watch out for them otters. <laughs> they are cute, but they, they'll hiss at you. That was my first cast off the pier. I've hit some different spots today. 
just trying out some different areas. I've of course fished here, this particular spot. Had some spectators there <laughs> for that first fish. It's been a tough bite today. I actually started this morning, uh, which I deleted the footage because I didn't have any success in an area where there would have been trout and redfish and didn't get a bite. I've fished here most of the day, took a lunch break, fished this area, and have only caught three bass. It's been a tough bite today. There he is. Saw him swirl on some bait. Threw at him. Got him. Little fella. Not a bad way to wrap up the day. <laughs> He's a small guy. Small guy. It's all right. Pretty cool. He was chasing some bait right out there and I could see him swirl and was able to throw at him. There we go. Man, he hit it right there by the spillway. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. What, so what is this? This is uh, Menhaden, looks like. That's mainly what's uh, popping around in here. There we go. Nice catch. <laughs> Thought I caught a little dinker bass. That's good to see. I, I honestly wasn't even sure what the bait fish was in here. I didn't know if it was mullet or shad or or what, but it looks like it's mostly menhaden. It's the next morning and I'm back at the pier where I've had probably the most success. They made me a little angry yesterday. They were tough. So I'm back at them. Just want to try to catch a couple more. That was a massive, oh gosh, oh gosh. They're going off right there, right there. All right, that should be coming through. Come here, buddy. There he is, oh dang it, come on, come on. Got a hit. That was a big blow up, oh my gosh. Put a top water out there real quick. Oh, he came after it. He came after it. Come on. Oh, he's still on it. There he is. Got him. Got him on the top water. He missed it a few times. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Okay. Oh. All right. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There we go. Oh yeah. Ow! 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 That's the danger of trouble. See about Gabby. Okay. All right. <laughs> I love a fish on top water. I know we're in the same area that I that I've fished the most here, but. I just had to come back. They made me a little angry yesterday because they were so dang hard to catch. <sighs> had to come and get some more. Thank you, dude. See ya. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, they're right there, right there. Look at that, that bass is jumping clean out of the water after that bait. See if we can get him. Oh, 
I switched over to the mirror dean. I threw that top water in the area where that bass, bass was. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's jumping. Come here, dude. Feels like a heavier fish. A little bit better. A little bit better. Come here. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Man, he's digging. Oh, come here. Yes. <laughs> Woo, look at that bass. Man, they get so chunky. This has been my best fish of my two mornings. That's awesome. Saw him working some bait over here through the top water. Didn't hit it through the mirror, Dean. He hit that. Sweet. This one's probably pound and a half, maybe pushing two pounds. Thank you so much. See ya. Oh, that was a bad drop. This is the Mirrodin XL. They seem to like it. Not really considered a bass lure, quote unquote, but seems like these, I, I, they are, this isn't really marsh, maybe? I don't know, I don't know what you call it. We'll call them marsh bass. They seem to like it. Oh, oh, right there, man, he thumped it. He just thumped it. I heard something hit the top of the water over there. Ah, oh, caught my attention. He pulled loose. That's okay. Gosh. Man, they, they're hitting the top though. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Oh. He's going, there he goes, he got it, he got it. He got the top water. I still got my other lure out there. Oh! <laughs> it's so cool watching them chasing a bait. And then, oh, there's another bass over there. And then throwing at them. Oh, of course, we're gonna get tangled in my other line. Oh gosh, this, what are you doing, bass? Must be, they are all going off right now. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. I can't even lift them up. Okay. And you're tangled in my other line. Awesome. What a mess. We're going to fix that quick. Okay. Nice fish. This one's about a three pounder. Awesome freaking fish. They are going off right now and I got a mess tangled up so I got to cut that clean and get back out there. Thank you, dude. That's awesome. All right, I got my mess sorted out. Uh, like a school of bass evidently was chasing some bait and like there were seriously bass blowing up everywhere. It was insane. And I think they were all nice fish. The one that I caught was about three pounds. Solid fish. I know that was a mistake leaving a line out there. It was just chaotic. I was working the other lure. I uh, felt like I needed to throw the, the top water out there. <laughs> of course, where's the bass go? He's gonna swim in the other line. You know that, like that's guaranteed. But we got it sorted out quickly. Wasn't as bad as I thought. But that was crazy, man. I mean, there were just literally bass blowing up all around me there. It just happened all of a sudden, it was crazy. Morning two turned out. A little bit better. I didn't have a lot of time this morning. I only had like a couple hours to actually fish because we're headed out of town to do a little bit of hunting. I don't know that I'll film it. Um, I just enjoy hunting. I enjoy being able to relax, not worry about filming. And it's really hard. And I don't usually get promoted much in the algorithm with that. So I just like to sit back and take the time to relax and enjoy it. It's kind of like a vacation for me, but we're headed up to do some hunting, but I do ha have some videos coming out, which got a surprise i have purchased a kayak Woo! pretty stoked about that i've actually already taken it out once i have a video coming up for you on the kayak definitely gonna have to take that out where i was just fishing today i've fished all, only from the bank on that body of water and i feel like there's just so much that is untapped i've got to find some redfish and some trout i know they're there i know they're in that body of water i just haven't been able to come across any because you're kind of limited on where you can fish from 
the bank. So, but I loved it. I love bass fishing. Uh, it was really fun this morning seeing those bass explode on some on some baits and being able to throw the top waters. But give me a little bit of encouragement. I would say, hey, drop a comment if I should put the kayak in. But you know I'm going to do it. You know I'm going to put the kayak in that body of water and go fish it. So just give me some encouragement. So yeah, you should totally do it. You're an idiot if you don't. Just just let me know. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.